Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today, as you can tell from the title, we're going to be working on these cars that I got yesterday. I'm going to clean them up, oil them up. But I got something in the mail today that I totally really forgot about. It wasn't even supposed to be here till Friday. It came two days early. So, that was another purchase. But it wasn't an illegal purchase. I already cleared this with Monkey. But there's a little backstory on that. But first, we're going to get our cars out from the that we got day before yesterday so we're gonna open these up we'll get them out we'll take them apart clean them up check them out see if they're ready to run then we're gonna test them so stick around guys okay so when we get in this box, we're going to get our cars out. I think I'm going to start on the Monza. And it's on this one. The Catch Me Car from Matchbox. Uh, race and Chase. Very good shape. Starting to peel a little bit there, but not the major. A little piece off of there. Not a big deal. It's 45 years old. So, but it looks like when I'm spinning the axle, it's not turning the, uh, it's not turning the gear. Lighting's horrible right now. It's not turning that gear right there. So the axle's slipping. But if worse comes to worse, I can, um, Take the axle out of my other one, put in here. All right, so I don't know if that light is helping or making it worse. All right, let's just, I'm sorry guys. Um, I'm gonna try this and see, let's see if the screwdriver will work first. <clears throat> yeah, man, this, A lot of shadows. Here, it's just one little Phillips screwdriver on the bottom of here. And it hasn't been taken apart a lot. Like the other one, I mean, it was darn near uh, stripped out. <clears throat> Not the screw itself, but the the head of the screw. So, well, tires are in good shape. Very good shape. Pretty clean. I mean, it's just there's a bunch of. I've got to get my tweezers out. There's a bunch of hairs in here. Uh, let me work on the lighting too. I'll get my tweezers out and I'll show you the hairs and stuff that gets built up in these things. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know if you can see all that hair. All that hair in there. So we're gonna pick that hair out of there. A lot of times that's from running along carpet. That might be carpet, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sit here and pick all this hair out of here. It's gonna take a little bit of time and I'm gonna bore it. Yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with that. And we'll get the police car out. I'm gonna clean the pickups. Yeah, they've got some playtime on them, but nothing major. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. And then we're gonna put some oil on it. Get it nice and oiled up, wiped off. Again, get all these carpet fibers and hair and nasty stuff out of it. Of course, they did say, you know, they're going to need cleaned. And I did see the pictures of these cars. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep picking away at this. And then once I get that done, I'll bring you back. We'll get it all oiled up. And then we'll start on car number two, which is the police car. We'll take the body off it, see if the light's still hooked up, whatnot. Because eventually, if the light don't work, eventually I'll have to solder a new... You, you can buy the lights for these things. They're just little tiny LEDs. I know what I might do. Uh, I better not try to do that. They make a tool to pull these wheels off and I don't have one and I don't want to break it so let me keep messing around with this and I'll I'll probably take it in the garage blow it out with some compressed air. See it's already looking better. Then we'll start on car number two. So right now just cleaning the inside of the body up. Trying to get most of that stuff out of there that I can. And I got my oil out here. We'll oil it up. And see what we can do after that. Okay guys, so I see what's going on with this. Bring you up here a little bit. Get you to focus. Right here on this gear get a little pointer here right right there see that gear that gear is cracked see when I turn this axle it should be turning the motor and it's not it's slipping on the axle see that what it does is after a long time plastic will shrink up and they crack so I'm going to go get my other car. I'm going to go get my other car and take the axle out of it and I'll put the axle in this one. Or just the gear, whatever, whatever it takes. And that'll give me a chance to get that cleaned out a little bit better too, so yeah that that's what I was figuring because yeah these gears they they like to crack once they shrink up so all right let me go get my other car okay I don't know what was recorded I got this box in the mail today it's kind of a surprise because well it's two days early it's supposed to be here Friday it came in today and I totally forgot about it now I bought this for the controllers and one of these corner pieces for the track to make my track complete. So, and I was kind of needing this this section of track here, and uh, mine's working, but it, you know. It's not right. I have to have a rubber band around it and I had to do some work on it. Uh, but anyway, I didn't know I was getting all this other stuff. I got guardrails. I got these pieces. Uh, I got the power pack. I got bridge sections to make a crossover. One, two, three, four, five, six six of these pieces uh, the corners the turns so but we're going to use this I see a little tiny bit of rust on it so I got some sandpaper here 120 grit you should use like higher than 320 or somewhere in there that's all I got so um, so this is what we're going to try the cars out with we're going to test them out with this Let me get my power pack after I get this cleaned up, so all I'm going to do is just run some sandpaper over these. Looks pretty decent in there. I mean, you can tell it's it's 45 years old, but 
and yeah, it is kind of dirty, but there's not a lot of rust on them. A little bit right there, but not bad. So anyway, so that was a surprise. Awesome. Monkey said, that's your package there. I'm like, it is. And I knew we got some stuff ordered, but I knew it wasn't going to be until later. So I was like, I didn't know what it was. So anyway, let's do that. We'll uh, get this track cleaned off here. We'll get it plugged in. And uh, it looks pretty decent. Um, a lot of cleaning on these old things. Oh man. This is the original bag. This is the original bag. They put it back in the original bag. Whoever had this set. Alright. It's dirty. Well used, of course. Um, let's see, yep, Matchbox Speed Track Battery Eliminator for use with Speed Track sets only. Yeah, because you know, <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna clean, clean this off so it makes a good contact. That's a little bit. Let me see, 120 volts. Wow, made in the USA. Look at this, guys. You see that? Right there. Look at that. October of 1978. Woohoo! Alright, let me clean this up. And uh, we'll get this plugged in. And we'll put a car on here and try it. I gotta get, get a controller out of here. I just want to make sure that these controllers are supposed to work. They said they tested fine, but they couldn't test it with a car or something, so they don't know how they test it unless they just used a vote ohm meter. Yeah, these are these are gonna need cleaned. I'll just run a little bit of sandpaper over them. Just get plugged into here. Blue one goes in blue one. Orange one in the orange one. But I gotta clean them anyway. And of course your reds, your power. So what these do uh -oh. now I stepped in it. All this does, it works like a regular controller, but when you click that, it flips a switch in here change the polarity you can do that with a dc motor and it'll just make it run backwards when they run backwards they want to turn so that's why there's that's why it has all these pieces around the side or on around the corners because you do that and it flips around and that's how you turn it around so hopefully these are going to work all right i'm not going to bore you with cleaning these up because it's just taking a little piece of sandpaper you know, clean them off, so stick around. Okay guys, so we got the cars on here, I've got them oiled up. Okay, and that one. Okay, well, let's get an oval track set up and see how they run. I still got to test this. I haven't cleaned this one yet. Pretty nasty. Okay, so we know the cars run. We need to check the lights on this thing, and I don't remember seeing them working. Well, it don't look like they're on. I'll have to get a light for it. But anyway, they are working. They're, they don't sound that great. But, you know, 
40 year old gears, 46 year old gears in there. So I'm gonna just set up a quick oval and we're gonna check these out. Okay guys, so I got the police car running pretty good so far. Monkey got me this. This is her mom's. She went and got it for me so I could move my cars. This is just the track that was in that box, so all I did was run a little sandpaper over it. Whoops. Hit the Monza. Oh, tried to reverse it. So the motors run pretty good, but the uh, gears sound a little clunky in them. That one's not too bad. I've just been running them in. I haven't been running so long. This one, it's got some sticky gears in it. Hear that? A little noisy. But once it gets going, it'll start running around the track. Monkey wants to come out and play, I'll give this one to her. <laughs> Whoa. That one's fairly smooth for you know, 45 years old. Whoops. Oh, didn't do it quick enough. See if I can get it to do the U turn. Almost. But yeah, it ran pretty good. I mean, the motors, you know. I expected to get gears every once in a while but. and these cars never were that that fast these there's only like six or eight volts 
Yeah, you hear it now. Yeah, these things are a lot of fun. Can't wait till the other one gets here, the night glow. Hopefully it's all there. It's supposed to be, it says incomplete, but it said something about the track's all there or something. Hopefully it is. <laughs> that was kind of cool. But yeah, a lot of fun. I'll get some gears for it and put it on the big track. Right there, you can hear the gears. But, they're a lot of fun. Whoa. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We got them going. They just need tuned up. And I think they'll be all right. So I'm going to keep messing with these for a little bit. every once in a while I can hear the motor and this one spinning but like nothing's happening see so there's a little eight tooth gear on these motors and they go bad and I can feel it's kind of catchy right there so it's probably got a tooth off of it then when it gets gets around to that one spot it locks up and the motor keeps wanting to turn so guys thanks for watching appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend i'm gone for now i'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care That maneuvered him. Go in. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> oh! Who won? The first one that crossed the finish line. Oh. <laughs>
two one. Not the one that went the farthest. <laughs> the first one to get to the end of the track was the white one, wasn't it? Okay, just yeah. turn them around. Yeah. Turn right. them around and I'll bring them back. Make sure they're in the slot, huh? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's do another one. Watch out, Bruno. About zoom on the track. <laughs> What'd you do? Go backwards? <laughs> Both in reverse. <laughs> huh. Ooh. Cop car. Mm -hmm. You should have just stayed down there. <laughs> that last piece of track, I think the contacts need clean. Yeah. Yeah. All right, two out of three. This ain't a Chevy, this is a Pontiac. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> that one's in reverse too. All right, here we go. It's cool because they're peeling out. When? Ooh, that okay. was close. Yeah, but see, I'm losing it right there. i got to clean that contact. Uh -huh. Stay tuned for some more drag racing. All right, me and Monkey. You ready? Yep. Say go. Go. Oh, now you're stopped. <laughs> I fixed this side and that side. Oh, I turned the track. That's right. <laughs> oh, hang on, guys. <laughs> Wasn't a fair race. <laughs> okay, here we go. Monkey, you ready? Yep. You say when? When? Uh, okay, that wasn't fair. That was a warm up. Okay, let me go get the cars. I'll click that. Okay, guys, I'm starting this one. Ready? Yep. Go. <laughs> I tore you up that time. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do a two out of three. Here we go. I'm going to start it. I'm going to go on three, okay? Mm-hmm. Three. What are you doing going backwards? I don't know. <laughs> I flipped your button on purpose. Okay. All right. This is for real. All right. <laughs> I'm going to say ready, set, go, and on go, we're going to hit it. Okay. Ready, set, go. Come on, catch up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was pedaling her. Oh, that was good. I beat your butt. I was pedaling her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go get him. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> All right, well, that's what I get for, you know, being a smart boy. Oh my God, that was too funny. Hang on. Hang on, I'm, I'm not going to. Sure. Well, you didn't. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> that was a close race. Yeah. All right, where are you going? No, Hi, we're racing. I'm checking on. Ready, mm -hmm. set, go. Oh wow, that was way ahead. Yeah, see I would have been like that last time but I started going like this. Because <laughs> we do that in racing if you're racing for times. Yeah. Like if I if I dial in at a 12 second, mm -hmm. if I think I'm going to go faster than 12 seconds, mm -hmm. I got to slow down. Because mm -hmm. if I dialed in at 12 and I run at 11, 9, I disqualify myself and mount. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we get down or like if we're really blowing somebody away, we'll start pumping our gas pedals. We call it pedaling them. Mm -hmm. It's just 
kind of show off sometimes and that's why you do the first one. Alright, so we got one one. for the big bucks we're mm. talking trophies and give it a little gas like that don't do it long just quick like that all right all right you ready mm -hmm. all right ready huh. set go Oh, I got oh. you! That was a good race. I thought race. you were going to win that one. So did I. <laughs> that was close. Because <laughs> we was losing traction, we was up against each other. <laughs> so I was telling her earlier, these tires were supposed to be slick like that because if they weren't, if you get good traction on this track and you you can't, you have to, in order to get it to spin out and do the U-turn, you to hit the button, mm -hmm. it has to slide. And if you got tires that won't slide, it wouldn't work. Right. So these are kind of like racing slicks. All right, send them back to me, Mama. Run a move. We got the Godzilla on the track. Ooh, that was a good race. All right, guys, thanks for watching, Monk. <laughs> you guys couldn't see me but I was shaking my head so that's cool stay tuned for more drag racing yeah. we want to get more track and go all the way down to like mom's room yeah they'll go under the door your mom will be like what the hell is that there's a roach in here the size of a police car <laughs> get it because yeah <laughs> thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye and take care